Hello everybody and welcome back to this Here Comes the Pain modding series and in the second part I will show you how to rename Chris Benoit to Antonio Cesaro and how to use the height modifier with cheat codes. Alright, in the video, video description you will find some links which you will need and I will start with the renaming process and I will show you the easiest way and this is the <coughs> and this would be in 8-bit format and these are the codes for uh, the PAL version and if you need the hex, uh, the NTS NTSC version, the link for these codes are also in the video description. Alright, on this uh, website, from and this is the former website from Code uh, X, which is uh, the database of cheat codes, and there's also a walkthrough which gives you a tutorial how to apply those modifiers and how to use them, Other, um, although there is a little mistake in there. Um, and I'm speaking about step 7 because we don't need this and I will um, guide you through this process. Alright, so uh, I, made a, I made a text file and I coded cheats and I will start with the renaming process. I will... I typed in two slashes so this is uh, a comment and won't uh, will be and won't be recognized as cheat code later in the cheat uh, file. I will do this for the PC SX emulator. Otherwise, you would need a cheat device if you want to do this on uh, your original PlayStation. So um, I will name this cheat rename Chris Benoit to Antonio Cesaro. All right. Um, so you need. Uh, to count the amount of letters with the spaces, so in this case it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So, 14. I will write that down. I will write that down so I don't uh, forget this. So, wait a minute. Bam! Alright. So in this walkthrough you will find a link to this site and there you will need to set the uh, uh, action replay to and encryption to this to the second value and select hex. So um, as you can see here you will need um, the location for the cheat code you want to change and in this case we want to change Chris Benoit and Chris Benoit has this value there and there stands or there is written written <laughs> that you need to uh, paste in this code so this is what we want to do we will make it in a bit different order than it's written in there so you just uh, paste this with the zeros and make sure there are 16 bits and at the offset which is written down here just the one and add an offset and there you have your second code by I, but I, <laughs> I forgot something I have to do this of course I will uh, the first line will look like this and zero zero and then follows this and then comes the second line which is this and you will need to do that for each uh, letter from Antonio Cesaro so I have to do this 14 times and after that we will we will add the values so I will fast forward this again Alright, there are 14 lines now, which have the value of 0, but we just need to adjust the last two digits to get um, our wanted Antonio Cesaro name. And I see I have uh, an error making there. And uh, I have to remind you, if your uh, new name is shorter than the original one, you need to add... Um, 
in another line and the value 0 at the end. But because this isn't the case, um, I would just move on and replace the values. So I go to the overview with all the values and I will um, select the values I want to uh, paste in. And I will write the wanted letter after that code so you see what I am doing. So you will hear me in some seconds again. As you can see, everything is done now. So this is our final code for renaming Chris Benoit to Antonio Cesaro. And now what is left is the height modifier. And this is very simple. We just need to have the code for the address from Chris Benoit from his height. So um, I will make a little comment there right there again. And I will need this. I will need the value of this. The link for these values are also in the video description. So Chris Benoit's value is there. I will use the, um, the values from SmackDown vs. Raw 2008 because there is a good overview which height is which value. So Claudio Castanoli, aka Antonio Cesaro, has a height of 6 foot 5 inch. So this would be the value, and I just paste it. And there we have our raw codes, aka hex codes or unencrypted codes. So now how to apply them to the game. Uh, if you play on PCSX2 as I am, you will uh, need to create a file. And you need to go into the host directory of your emulator or in the documents folder. It depends on which folder is attached to the program or to the emulator. In my case, I have a portable, I have the portable option. So it's under cheats. And there you see some files are already made. And these are the CRC from the games. And you can find the, um, your own CRC out. If you start, uh, here comes the pain with the emulator and I will do that. And I will open, here comes the pane, my old ISO, and I will boot it. And here in the console, if you don't have the console, you go to open console and click it, uh, click it away and then click it again if you don't see it. And this is your CRC and you need to create a file which has this as file name and the type of pnetch or something. It's written like that. So this is my my file, and if I open that, you see I already have a code for infinite money. Before that, you can also make a comment and a game title, but it isn't needed to work. So how to convert the codes we just created to into this format? Uh, there's a nice little program called PCSX2 Cheat Editor, which is also linked in the video description. I will open it. Just now, it's a Java tool, and there you need to set the host directory of your emulator. And there on the cheats, I will open my file, open, and there we can just paste our created codes. So I will paste them all and convert them. And as you can see, everything is converted, and I saved this. And now I can just open, or I can just, um, I can just start the game, and we will see if everything worked. And yeah, so we have our normal <laughs> loading screen, and if I'm not mistaken, everything should work without any problems. So start screen, and I will go into exhibition, singles match, no manager. And again, I will select Chris Benoit. And there we see, I made a slight mistake. Uh, 
for the T, I somehow use the value for U, but that's, this is no problem. I will open the cheat editor again and open the file for this. So it was there. A and T. So 74 wasn't the value for T. So let's check again. T would be 74, all right. I made a slight mistake there, <coughs> but no problem, converted safe. And then you, I go away from the game and press F1. And then I made a safe state, but with that I already reloaded the cheats. And if I go to Chris Benoit, there should be Antonio Cesaro. All right. Also, there should be now um, the height set, but there w there is just a slight different uh, to the original one, so you won't see that much. I could make him as big as the Great Kali or something, then you would see it, or you can make him little as Hornswoggle or even smaller. But yeah. All right. I hope I helped you again. And I will see you in the next part where you learn how to edit the selection pictures of your wanted character. Have a nice day!